Next up is uh, Shuram Ayer from Pate's Grammar School. <laughs> Definitely the noisiest corner, I love it. Uh, as, as it's coming up, I should say, uh, apparently Shuram loves cars and maths, plays the guitar and the piano, impressive. Uh, and we share something. You also enjoy eating and going to sleep. <laughs> yes. And dislike boring stuff, so I'm the same as you. All right, Shuram, over to you. We dream every day, every one of us. Now, how many of you remember what you dreamt of last night? Hands up. Not many. Many of you won't remember, because the hormone associated with memory, norepinephrine, is turned off while we sleep. Dreams occur because the brain sends random electrical impulses and is probably trying to clear a few problems, mentally and emotionally. We dream several times a night, each one ranging from five to 20 minutes in a state called REM, or rapid eye movement. Now all of you watch me. Don't move your head, just keep your eyes on me. <laughs> this is the most common movement your eyes make when in REM sleep. If you manage to lift the eyelid on a dreaming person, you can see the eyes moving in the same way. During REM sleep, your body produces powerful chemical enzymes to paralyze the skeletal muscles so you don't act out your dreams. One of these enzymes is called GABA. The scientific name is gamma amino butyric acid. Your body only produces nanoliters of this. GABA can be synthesized in a lab and is used to treat insomnia and depression. It's also used by bodybuilders as a growth hormone. <laughs> GABA is banned in the UK since it's highly toxic if taken in large quantities. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's just apple juice. <laughs> a survey done in 2013 suggested that nearly half of all teenagers were sleep deprived. Lack of sleep and dreams prevents hormones and enzymes like GABA from being released and can have a significant effect on the body. So, for how long do we dream for? Now think of your grandparents. If they're around 80 years old, they would have spent 26 years of their life sleeping. That's a third of their life. And out of those 26 years, they have spent six years just dreaming. That's nearly half my age. So, is all of this just wasted time? Most definitely not. There have been many great inventions and discoveries that have changed human history forever because of dreams. Take Albert Einstein, for example. Einstein dreamt that he was sledding down a steep mountain slope, going so fast that he eventually reached the speed of light. The stars above him changed in relation to him. He formulated the theory of relativity from this. So teachers, if you do find any of your students daydreaming, please don't wake them up. They're polished on their way to one of the greatest human discoveries ever. My last fact is that you cannot dream while you snore. So while my dad was snoring, he couldn't be dreaming. Thanks for listening. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks so much. Go for it. That was absolutely brilliant. You came onto the stage with great projection. I really liked the way you involved the audience, and particularly asking people to think about things that were personal to them is a really good way of engaging people in the, the subject that, you, that you, you were talking through. Um, you had great pace, great emphasis. I loved your energy using the stage, and I found it very absorbing. absorbing. And I didn't drift off into any sort of dream at all. So. <laughs> but my question for you is, how many hours do you sleep a night? I sleep about eight hours. And do you know how long of those you'll be dreaming then? Oh, uh, about an hour or so. Mm -hmm. uh, any, any brilliant you know, innovations come your way yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, to make up the six years of dreaming our grandparents, uh, yeah. you got a while yet. <laughs> yeah, that's like fantastic presentation. I really loved it. I was just a quick comment. You know, you're running across the stage. I ended up doing that in my UK final, but unfortunately for me, I had a, a bad leg. I ended up pulling my hamstring as I did it and went on. I had to carry on, but it's, it wasn't nice. Um, but well, yeah, watching you do that brought back those memories. And, like, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I also wanted to ask, actually, um, sometimes you get all your, your really like interesting thoughts when you're doing things in the shower. Is, is it sort of like the same thing? Like I, I sometimes have a shower, I'm like, oh, this is a fantastic new algorithm for work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about the answer, but maybe when you do go to the shower 
uh, GABA, uh, not GABA, um, norepinephrine might be uh, taken away and you might remember more ideas and you could probably get some mm. ideas from that. Wow, okay, yeah, that's, so that's fantastic remembering those names as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, have you got a quick one to throw in at the end? How often do you remember your dreams? Not very often, it's mainly once a week, like one, one dream, but mm. no, not that often. Mm. Disappointing, isn't it? I wish, I wish we could, because mm. I had the most amazing dreams, I've done cool <laughs> things. Um, thank you so much, super interesting. Huge round of applause.